Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are listening to this uh, UAG grant disbursement uh, update, it's quite uh, not really a good story to tell because Christians are on their fast, uh, Ramadan, the Muslims are on their fast, Easter is uh, I think from few hours, few days from now, and Salah too is a uh, few days from now. At the beginning, we were told that this disbursement of recent that we're going to use the money for for Christmas, then move to January, that we're going to use the money for January and New Year celebration. Now, Easter is around the corner, Salah is around the corner, and we are still hopeful. You know, it's, it's quite not a good story to tell it's as if we are not moving forward. Uh, this month is about coming to an end and uh, we are still being told the same story. I want you to listen to this update by Mr. Uh, Onjo Olivia. You know, I want you to listen to his analysis. Though I'm not his fan, because he has been hyping. He has been hyping people from day one, telling people, excusing, giving excuses for, for UAG management. It's good to say the truth the way it is than hyping them. So I just want you to listen to his analysis. I always like listening to his analysis. Sometimes it makes sense, but to be frank, sometimes it doesn't make sense. So just listen to him. Drop a comment in the description. See you on the other side. Thanks, guys, for, for crisscrossing our channel. Address critical concepts circulating in the grant ecosystem right now in the WhatsApps and Telegram groups. Some grant subscribers are already expressing worry over the period of silence in the grant ecosystem as the UAAG team are not briefing the masses on the recent development towards the disbursement of the UAAG grant. This session will equally address the circulating concerns, uh, circulating voice notes and circulating posts by certain grant promoters or agitators or grant protesters in the ecosystem either capable of creating distractions to the grant handler or distorting the peace and progress established so far even capable of generating or causing petition by certain factions of grant promoters in the ecosystem i am the ceo of omjolivia tv i'm so excited to have you today in our channel and we will address these concerns in a sequence by sequence basis hoping it will help to calm your nerves and usher in more hope and confidence as we anticipate the disbursement of UAAG grants. There I stumbled on a certain publication on one of the WhatsApp groups written by one of the popular grant hypers in the ecosystem. One of the contents was actually uh, intimidating certain audience of people in the ecosystem. Let me quote exactly what the Grant Hyper published in that keynote. One of the lines calls that the more you hold him, the more you hold yourself. The second line observed that you claim that anyone can disburse the UAAG grant. Oh yeah, let anybody disburse. Let's see. The other line stated that the ungodly smartness of few is delaying disbursement. Stubborn grasshoppers ends up in the bed stomach and stubborn flies end up in the grave. Now looking critically at the contents of this post currently circulating in the ecosystem, it is obvious that there are still some level of infighting coexisting between these grant handlers and some of them are intimidating themselves if you have been working together as a team we are aware of a certain period where one of the key members of the pressure groups came online to brief the masses that the apostle ambassador ken wakama is no more in charge of the disbursement of the grants specifically ostas that would be not that stated that anyone can disperse the UAAG grant and all these B notes were creating delay, confusion and distortion of the progresses that were established by this grant handler. When those moments were finally paved by the side and they continue again in the focus of 
are bringing about disbursement. This recent fee note, which I think is directly targeting the all grant pressure group, can be seen as a threat or intimidation by the audience of the pressure groups. Because uh, you know that if you tell someone that stubborn flies ends up in the grave, so that is to some certain set of people an intimidating and demeaning post capable of creating disunity once again in the team that has reconciled and again focused towards bringing about disbursement. Looking at the contents of this post, we, one can quickly predict that it is coming from the audience of the UAAG supporters. This is not what the grant ecosystem is seeking right now. Even when there are advantages that are gained by anyone in this grant, we know that everyone are working coherently for the sake of the dying and struggling masses. Therefore, whatsoever advantages anyone might have gained, whatsoever effort anyone might have invested in, is not enough reason for people to start acting in ways that can further delay disbursement. Every faction, every audience supposed to remain silent at the moment. Every faction supposed to remain calm and quiet at the moment, only promoting words of encouragement, only promoting voice notes of hope, only circulating words that unite and encourage the masses and every party that are promoting the cause of disbursement of UAAG grant. So I'm not expecting the grant ecosystem, the masses are not expecting the George Lovely and his team to be coming up with demeaning updates, intimidating updates and distracting updates in this moment henceforth. Hence the peace that has been established by all factions of grant handlers and promoters should be harmonized to bring about disbursement in the shortest time possible. I've seen in one specific WhatsApp group where uh, someone claims that the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Ken, is no more in the picture of disbursement anymore, that the AGPGN has taken over. While again, there is another faction in the UAAG that are equally claiming that the AGPGN are no more in the picture of disbursement. This is not what the ecosystem is seeking right now. This is one of those demeaning, discouraging and distracting posts that we are against right now. We don't need all this faction trying to uh, promote a certain effort made by them. Grant disbursement is not a one faction or one group affair. It's a harmonization of effort both from the masses it's a cooperation from NGO CEOs and even a cooperation from both factions of grant handlers. Again, there are certain actions that we will take at the moment that will disrupt everything, every success towards disbursement that has been achieved. We, this is a very critical hour in the grant ecosystem. There are other audience of grant agitators conducting themselves in a way that creates further distraction and confusion in the ecosystem, distraction to the grant handler and confusion to the grant subscribers. Those that are still saying that the UAAG have no grant to disburse, those that are still saying that the UAAG are sharing bundles to the NGO CEOs as a way of stopping protest. There is no reason whatsoever anyone at this moment can speak in terms capable of sending grant subscribers to the early grave by claiming that the UAAG have no grants to disburse. The most that is expected for those audience of people who believe UAAG have no grants is for them to go to the CBN and embark on a journey of fact finding for themselves and their own audience. These people doesn't believe the UAAG have a grant to disburse, but they are not leaving the grant ecosystem to focus and concentrate on their lives elsewhere. You don't believe on the existence of grants to be disbursed by UAAG. What are you still doing in the grant ecosystem? You don't believe that UAAG have a grant to disburse. Why are you still not leaving the WhatsApps and Telegram groups? Still creating confusion to the grant subscribers. You are not going to the dealer to find out if there is a grant. 
you don't believe that UAAG have a grant to this board, you are not going to the NFIU and other related bodies to find out if UAAG actually have a grant or not. Recently, you have heard the words NFIU, CBN, Villa used frequently by the grant handler. Ask yourself, will anyone in Nigeria use this name interchangeably, frequently, publicly, without these bodies coming out to disclaim having any business with this grant handler? Ask yourself, there is no one coming out to file a petition against the UAAG and the AGPGN like they file against Global Global Foundation in a civilized and constitutionally bounded nation like Nigeria. One who have no grant will operate from March 2023 to March 2024 and no one is coming to stop such body from parading themselves as grant handler. Please stop creating confusion in the ecosystem. The most you can do at the moment is to take a leave and excuse yourself from the grant ecosystem instead of causing confusion to grant subscribers or creating distraction to the grant handler. What everyone wants to hear at the moment is process that should bring about disbursement. Stop forwarding VNs capable of maligning the character and integrity of this grant handler. At the moment, let's focus on disbursement. Let's focus on concepts that will encourage the government committee, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama, the UAAG team, the AGPGN team to bring about disbursement. Let's focus on disbursement, not on anything else. The UAAG grant ecosystem have technically existed for one full year starting from March 2023 to March 2024 and few days in one year. This signifies that the disbursement of UAAG grant is more palpable and realistic than ever thought possible. Everyone at the moment wants to hear what is happening in the ecosystem and when disbursement is taking place. On the recent worries of grant subscribers on the period of silence currently experienced in the ecosystem, from feedbacks we are having from authorities in the ecosystem, disbursement is more realistic than anyone ever thought possible. The week before now started with allocation of one bundles to all NGO CEOs. Everyone expected disbursement to take place between Wednesday and Thursday last week. Even currently, disbursement is capable of taking place as this video is being recorded. We have to take note of development and progresses between last week and yesterday. After allocation of bundles, so many people were displaced, the NGO CEOs finally came into terms with reality of 1,000 beneficiaries only in their NGOs. Between this period, I'm aware of adjustments made by so many NGOs to accommodate their bundle heads as recipients or beneficiaries. Any NGO who is expecting to disburse this money in the shortest time that will be given by the UAAG have set up the bundle containing 1,000 names right now. And if you have not set up your bundle, go and set it up right now because everyone will be taken on a way. Disbursement is going to take effect like level packs. Remember, Within the week as grant subscribers were expecting disbursement was another circulating fact that an authority that is saddled with the responsibility of transferring this money to the NGO beneficiary account of the grant handler was inflicted by a very terrible emergency health anomaly. This created a delay in that week completely and usher in the new week then the process resume again. We will be glad to intimate you that this authority have resumed work healthy and hearty and working on bringing about disbursement. When Apostle Ambassador Ken decided to keep quiet, he believed the next day and as he is going out to meet with this authority, 
the money will be disbursed. This is one of those reasons that instead of creating posts and B notes that causes distraction and confusion to the UAAG, AGPGN and the government committee, we should be more focused on prayer to create avenue for this authority to transfer this money to the account of the grant handler for disbursement to all of us. During last week when there was this circulating fact of this authority being stricken with and held anomaly. Certain people come on to say that uh, they are claiming to be apostles, evangelists, reverends in the grant ecosystem. How can they be subjected to attack by material or elemental forces? Remember, this is the same grant that witnessed the departure of the grant handler. The person that brings about this grant to Nigeria died mysteriously at the point of disbursement of this grant. It was at this same period where arrangements were made by this grant handler after bringing the money from the foreign soil. He mysteriously died without being sick. Few days later, the other second signatory to this grant died mysteriously again. Some claim she was poisoned. That is Mama Beatrice Oduwa that you have been hearing from. Two authorities, two freedom fighters, two people that dedicated themselves to emancipating the media died mysteriously. And this is the same grant that is about to be disbursed again in 2024. And at the same week, at the same day this authority was to come and transfer this money to Nigeria, an unexpected terrible health anomaly set in. The masses should thank God this authority did not die because that should have marked the end of disbursement of UAAG grants. The masses don't actually know what is going on underground the disbursement of grants in Nigeria. The handlers are faced with both physical and spiritual attack, spiritual and physical and elemental forces, fighting to ensure there is no disbursement. You are already aware that the devil don't always want to see children of God being happy. So when you see delay happening in the ecosystem towards this disbursement, you should understand that there are still physical and spiritual forces that are inhibiting disbursement of these grants. All what we need at the moment is more prayers and focus, more prayer and confidence. We should focus on these spiritual exercises for disbursement to take place rather than keep worrying why disbursement has not taken place speedily. Disbursement can take place as this video is being recorded right now because every day is a day for disbursement to take place. We have gone beyond the period of saying uh, we are going to submit documents. We are expecting approval from this authority or the next. All these activities has been fulfilled. So we are living in moment where a call can be given to the grant handler to come and pick a check and disburse the grant. Pray that moment should be today. So for those that are worrying when disbursement is going to take place, disbursement can take place right now. Disbursement can take place this Easter week that we are. This week is the week of disbursement. Yesterday, the grant handler were with these authorities and have harmonized all their activities to bring about disbursement. We pray that as they are going out today or tomorrow, in this Easter week, disbursement should take place. We have just been intimated that an authority that is supposed to give approval for disbursement to take place have just flown into the country as of yesterday. That implies disbursement is capable of taking place today. Therefore, we don't expect any petition, any uh, action capable of causing the delay or suspension of this disbursement at the moment. There are security agencies in almost all the WhatsApps and Telegram groups. And as you are publishing this post, they are equally taking note of it and are writing their intelligence report back to the side of the government. If there are so many negative and agitative posts from the side of the masses or grants agitators, disbursement can be suspended. 
to the detriment of all of us. Now that all conditions for disbursement to take place have been fulfilled and the appropriate authorities to give a matching order of disbursement are already here for all of us. Let no negative post or agitation emanate anymore from the side of the masses, from the ecosystem. Remember, this is Nigeria where agitation and protest doesn't work. If you want to get something from the government, plea, please is the only language that the government of Nigeria understands, not protest, not agitation. Those that are planning protest and agitation or press conferences reminisce back to the previous years where the press conferences and agitations or protests have taken place. What reasonable or tangible outcome we have gotten from there. We don't want a repetition of the dark era in the grant ecosystem to occur again in our generation. Allow peace and stability to be experienced in the ecosystem, hence disbursement can take place. And God is going to do it for us, for the masses, for the struggling and dying Nigerians. God will use the spirit of this Easter to break this long disbursement deadlock that has bedeviled grants ecosystem in Nigeria for more than six years or almost a decade. I want to encourage all of you grant subscribers, the subscribers of Home Deliver TV to remain steadfast and confident of disbursement taking place in the shortest time possible. The grant handlers are not relenting in their efforts to bring about disbursement. Encourage your grant handler. They are leaving their state, their families for more than seven months and still staying at Abuja all to fight to bring about disbursement. Encourage them. Pray for them. If you have no material money or any support to give them, give them a word of confidence and encouragement. That is the best we can do at the moment. For those that are asking why MOU signing has not taken place, understand that immediately MOU is signed, disbursement will take place within 24 hours. That is why you don't see the grant handler bringing about those signing of documents. So he will not be like allocation of bundles and waiting for another five days before disbursement takes place. The grant handler is expecting to secure the money in his NGO beneficiary account for disbursement. Immediately that has taken place, you will see MOU being rolled out in the app for NGOs to sign. You will see again the disbursement template for all of us to know what we are going to disburse and how much every beneficiary is expecting to receive. Then finally will come the national broadcast of the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama, the same broadcast that will give an overview of the expectation of the NGO CEOs and the beneficiaries. But I will quickly hint the NGO CEOs that you will not have adequate time to disperse this grant. Remember, during screening and verification exercise, you included seven days to complete disbursement. Disbursement will not give you adequate time. It may only be seven days. Be prepared because all of us will be taken by surprise by disbursement. If you have other pressing concerns that you want us to address, drop your requests and questions in the comment section of this channel. This is how much we can take today in this session and I believe that your confidence and hope is once again enhanced as you anticipate the disbursement of this grant. There is good news already waiting at the moment to be broadcasted to all of us but I don't want to share it right now but I will share it in the next video for the benefit of all subscribers of Home Julivia TV. Disbursement is already a reality. I can perceive it in the weather right now. Thank you for staying tuned on Home Jolivia TV today. Kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, hence when we publish the next update, you will be immediately notified. Don't forget to lead this day as if it is your last. The sun is already out there, pointing brightly to the path for you to fulfill all your wild expectations. Live the most excited and fulfilled life. Bye. Let's talk together.
bonhomme Jolie vient TV Let's stand together Let's stand together Bonhomme Jolie vient TV Homme Jolie vient Homme 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 Jolie vient TV I'm Jolivia TV, I'm Jolivia, I'm Jolivia TV, I'm Jolivia, I'm Jolivia TV, I'm Jolivia, I'm Jolivia TV, I'm Jolivia.